After a truly stunning set of bombshells about abuse within the Catholic Church, now another explosive claim. The Pennsylvania Attorney General says the Vatican knew about the cover-up of abuse by clergy in his state. He also claims church leaders in Pennsylvania hid details of each allegation in, quote, secret archives. The investigation comes after a grand jury report detailed the 300 so-called predator priests who preyed on more than 1,000 children. Here to discuss uh, this, uh, the Pennsylvania Attorney General, Josh Shapiro. Uh, Attorney General, thank you so much for joining us. I know these are extremely sensitive issues. Uh, let's get to some of the substance right now. After you made that accusation uh, this morning about the Vatican, a Vatican spokesman told CNN, and I'll read the quote from the Vatican spokesman, if the prosecutor is referring to something outside of the report, we'll wait to see that before commenting. So what evidence, Attorney General, do you have that the Vatican knew of a cover-up? Well, let's be clear, Wolf, and as the chief prosecutor in Pennsylvania, I deal with facts and evidence and apply the law. 23 grand jurors in Pennsylvania sat for two years collecting evidence, listening to testimony, reviewing over half a million pages of documents from the church's own secret archives, detailing comprehensive, widespread sexual abuse by predator priests of children, noting 301 predator priests. They also found a systematic cover-up cover-up led by senior church officials, people like bishops and now one cardinal. And in many instances, as the grand jury report shows, not a claim from me, but as the grand jury report shows, that cover-up went all the way to the Vatican. The church's own documents that were in the secret archives presented in the grand jury report show the connection between the abuse and cover-up in Pennsylvania and the fact that the Vatican was informed of it. It's pretty stunning to think about it. At what point, Attorney General, do these secret archives indicate a cover-up actually started? Well, we went back decades, roughly 70 years. We found uh, information actually on more than 400 predator priests. But the grand jury wanted to be very, very careful and specific about naming names and making sure that the abuse could be corroborated, that the cover-up could be corroborated. And that was corroborated in a number of ways. Put very basically, it was corroborated in part by people testifying before the grand jury, but it was also corroborated by the church's own documents. Understand something, Wolf. These predator priests raped little children. They abused children. Bishops knew about it and covered it up. They lied to parishioners. They lied to the public. They lied to law enforcement. And then they wrote it all down. They documented all the facts. And oftentimes, they shared those documents that were in the secret archives with the Vatican. So for the, 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 the representative of the Vatican to say somehow this is new information, I would just say to him and to all people in Pennsylvania and across the United States, read the report. The details are all contained in that. And I thank the 23 men and women of the Pennsylvania Grand Jury for listening to this gut-wrenching testimony over a two-year period of time and coming up with the most comprehensive report on clergy sex abuse in the history of this country. Do you have evidence, uh, Attorney General, that Pope Francis was aware of this? I have evidence that the Vatican was aware of it. I, once the Vatican learned of it, I do not know whether the Pope learned about it or not. And as a prosecutor dealing with facts and evidence, I'm not going to make a statement, nor am I going to attribute something that, uh, to the grand jury that is not in the grand jury report. We're going to stick with the facts and the evidence. As to what the Vatican, who in the Vatican knew it, what the Pope knew, that's an answer that only they can provide. As you know, Missouri is now the second state uh, to go ahead with an investigation along the lines of what you're doing in Pennsylvania. Are you cooperating with them? Is there uh, more, more state? Do you expect more states to follow your lead? Wolf, well, I've received calls from over a dozen attorneys general across this country, along with a senior representative of the Department of Justice, our federal government partners. Uh, some have already begun investigations, at least one that you cited has been open about that. Others are contemplating investigations, and certainly if Pennsylvania can provide any support to them, we will. Look, I think Pennsylvania is a pretty special and unique place. 
But sadly, I don't think we are unique uh, when it comes to this. I certainly don't have any evidence of it happening in other states. What I do have evidence of, though, is these predator priests were passed around to other states and shielded from law enforcement in the process. Understand, Wolf, this cover-up served a very specific purpose. It was not only to cover it up within the parishes, within the churches, but it was also to shield them from law enforcement. So law enforcement officials like me couldn't charge them with crimes. You know, we, we uncovered 301 predator priests as part of this grand jury investigation. Sadly, because of our weak laws in Pennsylvania and our limited statute of limitations, I could only charge two of them. One of those predator priests has already pled guilty. Uh, and the other one will be in court later this fall. So we've got to hold these individuals accountable. And if other states are going to step up and try and do that work, the federal government uh, step up and maybe do that work, I think that's a good thing. Yeah, yesterday I, I interviewed Josh Hawley, the attorney general of uh, Missouri. He says he was going to move quickly on this area as well. Uh, Josh Shapiro, the attorney general of Pennsylvania, thanks so much uh, for joining us. Thanks for having me, Wolf.